What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and yet again we are checking in from SeaWorld Orlando for another Pipeline the Surf Coaster construction update as well as that rumored 2024 roller coaster going in over by Empire the Penguin. Well, let's go. Parking was a breeze. It's not too busy right now. I haven't seen Pipeline run yet. Yeah, some tables out here. I'm not sure what they were doing earlier, but uh, hopefully we're going to see some test runs. Ticket booth, not busy. And I can see at the front entrance, it's not busy either. Everything looks to be about the same over here. I did see a train in the station area. Other one was in the maintenance barn. And yeah, everything looks to be just about the same. Hopefully they've gotten a bunch of test runs recently. Well, I can see on the ops booth right there, some new coverings for the windows. Yep, like usual, no wait to get through. We are on our way. It has been uh, kind of cold recently over the last couple days. I mean, jacket weather for Florida. And today it was 90 degrees, polar opposite. But uh, yeah, it's nice right now. Got some uh, cloud cover. Height check sign, and why would we cover this? Well, it's good to see Icebreaker back there at 48. Seven Seas Food Festival, still going on weekends. They have concerts, amazing food. If you haven't done it, I highly recommend it. Split point, bridge that way. Sky Tower's in operation, so we're going this way. There it is. Yay. I'm glad it's open. Not gonna lie, still a little upset that the fountain's gone. I want it back. Flowers looking amazing. Look at all the burbs. There's tons of them. Welcome aboard the Sea World Sky Tower. For the comfort and safety of everyone, we ask that you please remain seated at all times. Thank you. <laughs> Our teams are on call 24-7, 365 days a year, partnering with multiple government agencies, conservationists, zoological facilities, and others to rescue and help animals in need of our care, always with the goal of rehabilitating them and returning to their habitats. Our teams are on call 24-7, 365 days a year, partnering with multiple government agencies, conservationists, zoological facilities, and others to rescue and help animals in need of our care, always with the goal of rehabilitating them and returning them to the wild. One outdoor water park in the USA. Visit the information counter today to see how you can experience Discovery Cove and the this amazing park has been voted as number one outdoor water park in the USA. Visit the information counter today to see how you can experience Discovery Cove and Aquatica. We are on a mission to protect marine life and the oceans they call home. Your visit is a chance for you to play a part in protecting our planet. Each ticket and each experience helps fund wildlife rescue and rehabilitation efforts. Habitat protection. Yeah. <laughs> 
unser Haus ist. Da hinten raus, wo das rechts ist. Ja. Unser Haus ist da gerade die Straße, da müssen wir lang. Da ist ja nicht schwer. Ja, die Straße. Ja. Die müssen wir aber nur geradeaus. <lacht> Per usual, awesome views from Sky Tower of Pipeline. I'm gonna take a break on Pipeline though. I wanna go check in on that 2024 rumored roller coaster. Sea Lion and Otter Theater. And a couple updates in the past. We showed you these work walls that were leading up into the area. This is a big, big uh, area that is blocked off right now with work walls. It's gonna be a little bit bigger project than I thought originally. And once the show is over, it lets out over here to the sea lions, where you can check them all out. But I'm checking out construction. Temporary ramp, still there. And as we saw from Sky Tower, these work walls take up a huge portion of the area. As far as what the coaster could be, again rumored 2024, we have been saying a straddle coaster, possibly from Intamin, just like some of the other SeaWorld and Parks Entertainment parks that are doing these style of rides. But I've heard some new info. It may not even be Intamin. Maybe a different manufacturer. Maybe a new prototype style of ride. I don't know. We'll keep you posted. A lot of rumors going around. and it's currently showing a 10 minute wait. Right here next to Manta's Pretzel Loop, we have work walls believed to be for that 2024 rumored roller coaster. And they extend all the way down over here. Now, while there was a haunted house for Hollow Scream right here, I don't think that's what all these walls are for. Again, it's leading over towards Empire of the Penguin. And here are the work walls that led over to the former sea lion area. We saw that earlier, but uh, yeah, this whole area is blocked off. And not sure if you guys can see it, but there's some paint markings right here, 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 and here. So, they're doing stuff. Manta flying by, and just over there, more work walls, and that is over by Empire of the Penguin and where the restaurant is. A little closer view of some of those work walls that are new since our recent updates. And one thing I do want to point out, when I was driving into the park, over at the storage lot, well, they have not taken down those work walls. Why? Because maybe we're gonna get some track delivery in the next couple weeks. In fact, it looked like they were doing some recent work over there, so maybe sooner rather than later. And the fence line stops right here, but there are markings on the ground, and it extends all the way down over here to the other markings right there. So eventually, this is all gonna be walled off. More lines on the ground over here. And more paint markings on the ground right there. And right here. Looks like the line for the fence is gonna go right here. And the fence line will close off right here next to the restrooms. Journey to Atlantis. Currently in operation, only has a 10 minute wait. Kraken, and we gotta talk about this a little bit because there's an interesting thing to note. Apparently it's gonna go down sometime in the next couple months, and when it does, they're gonna really focus on that 2024 rumored roller coaster project. And from what I'm hearing, that is when they might move track into the area. We'll see. All right, let's head into the Antarctica area, see what we can see. The exhibit is still open if you wanna see penguins. That's what that line is for but the attraction has been long gone and we've seen some photos online recently with the ride vehicles being removed. Here, we have a work wall. Again, this pathway used to lead over to the Sea Lion and Otter Theater. Not anymore. Shh. 
shark encounter right there. And this is different, or at least it might have been down for a little bit, but uh, work walls, all gone around the bird exhibit. Looks beautiful. They really did a nice job in here. Mako! Currently running one train, 25 minute wait. So a little bit longer, hey, it's running. Infinity Falls, currently in operation with a 15 minute wait. Getting people soaked. Good thing, it's really hot. I know I said it earlier in the video, but it's hot. Waterway Grill, and there's something we need to show you inside of here. Work walls are up for Waterway Grill. They're redoing this, and I think it has to do with flow and how you pay first and then get your food as opposed to get your food and then pay. So I might be switching that up a little bit. Maybe some new food offerings. I can only hope. Yes, indeedy. Work walls are still up over here. And I'm thinking maybe they'll do some more work on this after the Seven Seas Food Festival is all over. But uh, yeah, these walls have been up for a very long time. Icebreaker reopened. We had videos on it with no more comfort callers. Currently 35 minutes with one train. Hopefully they get that second train with the modifications done pretty soon. It's bridge time. Time to get a closer view of what's going on with pipeline. Construction duck. Yeah. All right, let's talk pipeline, which has been doing a lot of testing over the last couple days. I'm not seeing a train in the station right now and there's no workers on the construction site, so maybe later tonight they'll do some runs. But I did hear that we have had human test dummies on it. I think it was yesterday, actually. Representatives from B&M had a chance to ride, which is good news. And we're gonna see a lot more testing over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully an opening date will be coming out very, very soon for it. Flamecraft Bar and Seafire Grill. Well, this pathway has opened up recently. We do have a stake over here, a marking for some reason. And this is new, Pipeline Barricades. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know, it is pink chicken time. Check it out, there's Sunday.
Well, it looks like the alarms are going off for pipeline, and I do believe we're going to see some testing now. back. Alright, bring it back. See some more testing.
human test dummies on pipeline. Right in front row. Well guys, that's going to do it for our video here from SeaWorld Orlando for Pipeline the Surf Coaster. Exciting stuff as we saw more testing, but this time with human riders. Yeah buddy, we're getting that much closer to an opening. Of course the 2024 rumored roller coaster project, we saw all the construction walls and we're going to have plenty more updates for that. So if you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at Midway Mayhem and I will see you out on the Midway.